Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this set of videos, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of construction take staking. This is a really simple construction staking assignment. We're doing some pro bono work for a community gardens in Walnut Creek here in California, and they're going to expand the garden into a new area. It's currently a, a vacant lot, and so we've got a in in the drawing here you can see we've got we've got a design preliminary design or layout for some new garden beds and some sheds and some other compost area a couple sheds and so the the folks at the garden have asked us to come and give them a set of stakes so that the contractor and the volunteers can come in and lay out these beds in the design that's been created here and so what I want to do in this next couple of videos is clean this clean this up, <laughs> clean this drawing up so we can use it for staking. It's not properly layered and these, these poly lines have thicknesses for display and it's not going to be a really good drawing for construction staking calc. So we're going to get that cleaned up and then we're going to, once we have it cleaned up, we're going to reference it into a construction staking calc drawing and we're actually going to calculate our points for the staking so in this first video what I want to do is just get this drawing cleaned up and get it prepared for use as reference in the constr uh, construction staking calc drawing so I, I took the drawing from the client and I uh, deleted some X refs that we didn't need and I went ahead and saved a copy of it so I've called it garden bed layout design and what I want to do now is go in and just layer it and get rid of some of these graphical things that we don't need. So let's go ahead. Let's do the layers first. So I'm going to make a, a new set of layers. So this first layer is going to be called lines, planter beds, type 1. Okay. Then I'm going to make another layer, same thing, lines, planter beds, type 2. Type 2. Okay. And then one more. Lines. Planner beds. Type 3. Okay. There's three kinds of planter beds. I want to keep those in separate layers. These are different size planter beds. Okay. And then we'll do one more. We're going to call this line structures. Actually, I'm going to call it line sheds. Okay. And one more. We'll call this lines... Uh, compost area because they got a compost area there okay and I do want to make these different colors the colors don't really matter as long as we can see them so I'm gonna pick some bright colors down here from this color palette this row of colors down here at the bottom All right, now what I want to do is I want to grab these planter beds by type and get them on the right layer. So I'm going to grab all these red planter beds first. We're going to call those type 1 planter beds. And then over here in the properties dialog, we're going to drop down this layer and we're going to put those on planter bed type 1 layer. Okay, and we got some more down here we'll grab. Okay, these are all type 1, so we're going to put those on the type 1 layer. Okay, then we've got type 2 beds. Are these green planter beds? You know what? I made a mistake. I thought we had th three types of beds, but we only have two. So these are planter bed type twos. Okay, then we're going to grab the sheds here. There's two sheds. And we're going to make those lines sheds. And then the compost area we'll put on the line compost area. Okay. 
All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to select my planner beds and get rid of, get rid of this width. They've all got a, a polyline width on them. So now that I have those layered properly, I can come in here and uh, we're just going to select these five new layers we made. Right click, say invert selection. We'll freeze those. Oop. It's telling me you can't, you can't freeze layer zero, dummy. That's okay. So this must be on, uh, oh, that must have been the current layer. Yeah, so before you start messing around with your layers, you should make your layer zero the current layer. So I didn't do that because I'm a dummy. So I'm going to unfreeze layer zero, make it current. And then sort by frozen, unfrozen, and find this layer. This is called, I don't even know what this layer is. It looks like it's got the path on it to me. So I'm going to rename this and call it lines path. Okay, and then freeze it because right now I don't want it turned on. All right, so now we just have our, our planter beds, our sheds, and our compost area. I'm going to select those, and I'm going to say PE for polyline edit. Oh, then it's going to ask me to select M for multiple, select those. Then I'm going to go down on my options and choose width. It says specify width for new segment, zero. Okay, so now I just got rid of the width on that, okay, which is what I want for staking. Okay, so this looks a lot cleaner. I like it. I'm going to save that. Okay, then we're going to go in and we're going to, we're actually going to freeze the layers that we've just, <clears throat> freeze the layers that we just cleaned up. So I'm going to freeze those. I'm going to invert that selection. I'm going to unfreeze all the other layers. And I just want to see what do I have left in this drawing here. Okay, so I've got a, Rough surface with some other stuff. I don't need any of that. And let's see, what are these? Don't know what these are. Let's try and do a select similar. We're going to get rid of those. Okay. Get rid of this. Uh, I do have... Those must be parking spaces there. What's this? So I'm just going in to clean up some stuff here that I don't need. And I don't feel bad about doing this because I know I've got a copy of this drawing saved. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Is this on the path layer? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to just make a couple more cleanup layers. It looks like I've got a sign here. I'm going to make a layer for the sign. I'm going to make a text layer for these labels. And okay, what do we got over here? Man, I'm just not sure what that what that is. We'll, we'll hang on to that for now. I've got some utilities here. I'm going to leave because we're going to just check these utilities when we're out, make sure that we're in roughly the right spot. So let's open up our layer dialog, and we'll, we'll get some more of this cleaned up. So I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to call it text map labels. I'll make that yellow. Okay, and then we're going to make another layer. We're going to call it lines. Util uh, surface utilities yeah. and let's see let's make one more layer there was one other thing I needed here and I can't remember what it was yeah I can't remember what it was so let's go clean up what we got so I'm gonna grab one of those text items say select similar and we're gonna drop that on our text layer If I can find it. Okay. I also like to, this is a pet peeve of mine. I like to middle center this kind of text. So I'll just change that. Oh, you know what? I had a sign. That was the other layer I needed. So let's go make that sign layer real quick. can put this sign shape on that layer now okay all right then we got these utilities over here we're gonna grab and put those on the utilities layer yeah. 
And I may end up taking those out of this drawing, but for now I'm going to leave them there. All right, now let me turn on these other layers. I may actually have a third type of planner there, so let's go look at this. Actually, I might have four types of planners. Let's uh, unfreeze our planner layers. All right. Yeah, now I lost those other shapes. So these are, yeah, they're right here. Looks like we've got duplicate items. Whoop, nope, we don't. Okay, so this is another type of planner here that I missed. So we're going to put this on planner type 3. I'm going to do that polyline edit again. M for multiple, select those. Grab the width, set them to zero. Okay. And I th thought we had one more I remember seeing up here. Hmm, now I lost it. Let's go in and freeze those again and maybe we can see it. Yeah, it's this guy right here. I think this is another planner bed. So let's go ahead. We'll put this on. Uh, I'm going to put it on. Uh, we need a type 4. So let's do that. I don't know what happened to my layer dialog here. So we're going to make another layer. We'll call it lines, planner beds, type 4. Give that a color. And then we'll drop this bed on that color. Okay. Then we'll unfreeze all our layers. Okay, so I've got a pretty clean drawing now. I'm feeling good about most of this. Okay, pull this label over a little bit. Okay, now <clears throat> what I want to do, because this is pretty messy. Uh, the layers are certainly messy is I'm gonna just do a W block and I'm just gonna grab the stuff that I want here and I'm gonna export this drawing And I'm going to call it uh, cleaned or clean. Okay. Okay, then I want to open that drawing and make sure that it turned out all right. Okay. So it looks good for looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and close both of these drawings now. And then we're going to go in and do a little file cleanup. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this drawing that we had. And then I'm going to rename this drawing we W blocked out, the clean one. All right. So now I've got a clean drawing that's ready to get referenced in. Okay. And I'm actually going to cut this drawing. I'm going to come up and make a new folder here. I'm going to call it construction. So I like to keep my construction staking files separate. I'm going to make a new folder here and call it reference drawings. Then I'll paste that drawing in here. Then I'll come up and I'm going to make a new, uh, another new folder called calc drawings. 
and that's where we'll do our work, our constructions taking calcs. Okay, I'm at about 15 minutes. It's a little longer than I like to usually do on these videos, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now. We'll do a second video where we uh, open the calc drawing, insert that drawing we just made as a reference, and start calculating our points, our staking points.